Never date a cancer man. We are so emotional. We are really emotional people, especially just cancers. But you know, I I I was just very emotional today. I don't know, very crying and and the liquor didn't help because it just makes you more emotional. I don't know, but I'm going to give you holes a good show. All right, it don't last for long, bitch. I'll be back to my crazy self, you know. Let me find an intro. See, I'm already back to myself, but I was very emotional today, just crying. I miss my friend Dana. I miss my friend Chinchilla. I just, life is just really just, I don't know, but we got to keep going, right? I guess so. Hold on, let me find an intro. Where's the intro? It's giving. It's giving me. It's giving. It's giving me. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. Walk a 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 walk a
get. Yo. Um. I don't know if I was telling you all, if I was telling my cousin, if I was telling us, I, I don't know. All I know, there is this lesbian. She be hitting on me, y'all. Like, she she really wants some of Dante. Or I don't know if she want my ass. I don't know what it is that she want. I don't know if she watch me. Bitch, I don't want you. Like, she's cute. But, I no. No, thank you. No, ma'am. Like she saw me, I was walking to the store. I think I was telling you all the last time on the last show. She was hitting on me in the store. I think I was telling you all, I don't talk to nobody, bitch. It had to be either you all or my cousin. I don't talk to nobody. Anyway, whatever. But I seen her again and I was walking real fast. And I don't look at people when I walk. People, you know, oh, we saw you, bitch. I don't look at nobody. I keep my head down. I don't want to talk to nobody. So she walked past me. She like your bimbo. Yo, yo, stop walking like that before I grab your ass. And I'm like, oh, what? You gonna grab what, bitch? And like, like, I, like I'm a nice person, but I'm really mean. Like, bitch, if you don't leave me the fuck alone and get the, you better back it up, bitch. But that's what, you know, my mom was saying. But my mouth said, girl, you know, I really should have said, I'm like, she's cute. You know, she looked like a man, you know, she, you know, braids, like she's something I would want, but you ain't got no dick, bitch. I, like, I don't do, like, like I told you all, there are some gay men, feminine gay men who are into really hardcore lesbian butches. Like, I think Flame, you know, Flame, the comedian Flame Monroe, he, she, we who I just absolutely love, my cancer, uh, 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 the, the, my cancer, you know, my cancer, fellow cancer, his birthday is the day before mine's, you know, um, he's, I think he's into that type of stuff, lesbians and them hardcore butches, bitch, I'm not, you are, you, you are a fine motherfucking lesbian, you look good, bitch. I'm not sexually attracted to you. So now I think she know my schedule. So I got to change up my schedule. Because I like I don't want to run into you again. Like you really make me uncomfortable. You know. And like I want to be nice. But bitch leave me the fuck alone. Like I'm not into you. Whatever you have, you have, whatever you have imagined. It's not going to happen. I'm not into the strap ons. No bitch. You look good. But you got titties. And you got to click. And I'm just not into that shit. All right, moving on. Hi, hi, everyone. Make sure you check out Magic Natural Beauty. And also search them on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And a walk and walk on you. Let me tell y'all something today. Y'all need to get your damn kids. Y'all need to get your, your children, get your damn teenagers. These kids are motherfucking out of control. I was inside CVS uh, earlier today. And it's it's a really pleasant CVS. It's a really, it's, it's an older white man, gentleman. And he's really pleasant. You know, hi, how are you? And, you know, he likes to talk to you, tell you stories. I don't want to hear none of your stories. Just ring my shit up so I can get the fuck out of this store. Anyway, he t you know, he just seemed kind. Today, I go into there. I needed to get changed. I need to, oh, I had to get something off my debit card. Whatever the fuck. About 10, 10, 10, about, about 20. It was a lot of damn kids and teenagers in there. The store was a mess. They was in there running around and cursing and just acting a fool. And it was a young black girl and some Spanish dude at the register. And um, it was it was like a whole lot of chaos in the fucking store. I have patience. I'm just waiting to get what I got to get so I can, you know, get the fuck on. The little, about five little badass kids came behind me. And I, I don't do teenagers. I don't do kids. I used to love, I used to love kids. 
I don't like none of you motherfuckers. Not this new generation of kids. I cannot stand you. All oh, you, you all make me sick. Fuck these kids. Um. Anyway, all I know is they started like play fighting or wrestling or whatever the fuck they was in the store. No parents or nothing. Here come the white man up front, and he he. I don't know if he's the manager of the store or whatever the fuck, but he now had to play security. Like, I just feel like all these stores need some type of security in it. So, he comes up. <laughs> I don't know what he, he's like, you little motherfuckers, calm the fuck down. Fuck is wrong with y'all. He was cursing little motherfuckers out. And, and, and get the fuck out the store and all that. Woo, woo, woo. And you all, I don't know if he said nigga. Nigga. I, I don't know. I, he could have said it. Maybe he did. But that's what you all were acting like in that moment. So if he said it, I, I like, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I just, you know, I, I just wanted to get the fucks. So you hear them. Did you call us a nigga? Did he say nigga? And that and trying to, he said, I don't know what the man was saying, but the man, they was like, we going we gonna to get you. When you the, the, the dude was like, I get off at 10 p.m. Meet me outside. Catch me outside, ho. I'll be outside. I take that old man. Did not give a fuck about them little 20, the 20 little rascals. Fuck you, motherfucker. I'll get off at 10 o'clock. So, the little, the one of the little bitches gonna come over to us. The, the, we was online. Did, did y'all, um, did they, I hear him call us a nigga? Looking at me, looking at the other woman in line. I looked at that little bitch. Like, bitch, if you don't get the fuck out my face, I don't give a fuck what he called you little tired ass motherfucking badass kids. If he called y'all a nigga, oh, the fuck well. That's what the fuck y'all was acting like in that moment. Dude, dude, dude had a nerve to look at me. I would roll my eyes at that little bitch. If you don't get a little tired ass, don't get the fuck. Get y'all motherfucking kids. I'm so sick of these teenagers, and the first thing they want to go do is go tell their mama or tell their family, oh my god, the white man in the store called us a nigga. And then, then the mothers want to come back. But you didn't tell your motherfucking uh, father or your mother or your whoever how you was acting in the store. Now, had this man, had you, you know, had y'all would have been had a normal conversation or a little normal argument, whatever. And he called you a nigga then, then it would have been different. The way y'all little motherfucking hoodlums was acting in that store. The fucking nurse, she gonna come over here and ask me and the other lady. Excuse me, did y'all hear him call us a nigga? You should have seen how I looked at that little bitch. Like, little girl, if you don't get the fuck out of my face, I ain't here acting a fool. Y'all little, I cannot stand these motherfucking teenagers. If he called her, if he could did call her out, nigga, good for you. So, the lady in front of me went up, whatever, and then I went over to the little Spanish dude, and then, like, they left the store, but soon as I was leaving, I don't know what happened. They all came back into the store. I just had to get, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I was, you know how some people like to stand around and record. I wasn't with none. I went to go give me a little slice of pizza and took the bus home. I was in town for that. But get your damn kids and your little teenagers. Because they always so quick to go get their parents because somebody called them a nigga. If you wasn't acting like a nigga, a person would have called you a nigga. Little badass kids. Make me sick. Little girl, look at me. Did you, little bitch, if you get the fuck out of my face? Don't ask me nothing. All right. What are we talking about? You guys, I feel like crap. I feel like crap, Sister Patterson. Um, I don't take pills. Like, I don't take no Advil. No, I don't like pills. Medicine, no. Bitch, my medicine is... Some liquor, or some ginger ale, or some crackers, or a, or a nice chicken soup. For me to take some Advil or a Tylenol, I bitch, I done took about three Tylenols in the past three days. Um, my neck, my back, like my coochie and my crap. Like I don't know what's going on with my neck, honey. Um, I went to my grandma house and I I had to put this this whatever this is. I had to put that around my neck. And I was just feeling like shit that day. I put that around my neck. And then that same day, I don't know if it was making me hot. I had to take a mean shit at my grandma's house. 
And I don't like taking a shit at other people's house. But when you got to go, you got to go. I said, look, Grandma, I don't know what's going on. I didn't take a shit. So I went into the bathroom. And every time, you know, something came out, I flushed. You know how you take a doodle and you just sit there. Mm -mm. You let it out and you flush. Let it out and you flush. So I don't know what was going on. So I got up. I was able to wipe my booty. Sorry. Sorry if you eating. Look, taking do dunks is a part of life. Um, so I washed my hands and I went to go sit on her couch. I was just like, grandma, grandma, girl, I don't know what's going on, girl. I would, I, 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 after about 20 minutes, I had the fan on me. She put the air conditioner on. I was fine. I, I I seriously don't know what's going on, you all. I I really think it's the weather. You know, the weather's changing. The time went back. Uh, it's supposed to be six o'clock, and now it's five o'clock. The the, the the sun is going down. And I, I'm just like, oh, I'm just sick. Of, I really wish I was swallowed. I'm just sick of life. I'm really am, you all. I'm just sick of all this shit. Every fucking year we gotta go through the same old shit. Summer, winter, fall, spring, and then you wanna move to winter. You gotta deal with them crazy ass motherfuckers out there. You gotta deal with the crocodiles and the snakes and all that. Then you go to LA. I I I just I just wanna go where it's nice and hot all year long. Like I I I, I can't deal with this cold bullshit. This weather is it's, oh. I hate these four seasons. Can we just get spring and summer? All this cold shit. Give this. Can can y'all take that somewhere else? I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, shout out to my grandma. So listen, I wanted some barbecue ribs because. I don't know where I had the taste from the barbecue ribs, but I think I had called my aunt one day and she said, I'm making some barbecue ribs. So my mouth was like watering for some barbecue ribs. So I get, I get over to the house. I'm, where's the ribs? Oh, we lied. It was a piece of chicken. A bitch, I wanted some ribs. So I wanted some ribs. Got some ribs, took them to my grandma house. And when I tell you, my grandma hooked them up. Those was the motherfucking best ribs I had. I look, I don't want them. them ribs is off the barbecue sauce. Honey, honey barbecue sauce. Bitch, I fucked the ribs up. I don't understand how some of you all don't eat meat. You vegans and then and, and, uh, the motherfuckers. I don't, how you not eating no ribs? You hoes is crazy. Maybe I couldn't be no vegan. I'm gonna I'm need me a rib, at least a piece of meat once a meat. I might be a vegan six days of the week, but on that seven day bitch, are oh, you gonna give me some ribs? I need a piece of something. Ain't that motherfucking serious. Now, we have ribs in the vegan. No, bitch, those ain't no ribs. The fuck out here, bitch. I want that fake shit. Give me some real, real meat, bitch. That fake ass meat. So about you want a, 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 a vegan burger? Bitch is not a burger. I what's me the meat. Like today I had me a, a slice of pizza with pepperoni. Can you vegans eat pizza and pepperoni? Or oh, that's considered meat. If you can't eat pizza, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? And here's the thing. I wanted two slices of pizza, but I only got one because I don't know who made up this rule that we can only eat one slice of pizza or you only supposed to have two hot dogs. Like who made up these motherfucking rules, bitch? If I want five hot dogs, I'm going to eat five hot dogs. I don't follow these motherfucking rules that you can only eat uh, uh, this amount of... No. My back is big for a reason, bitch. Now, anyway, moving on. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be talking to you all. I really needed someone to talk to. 
Cause this just this has been a real trying week. It really has. I I just been really emotional. Oh my god, I've been so fucking. My neck is hurting again. <sighs> anyway, bitch, listen to me. I, maybe I should make another drink. No, let me continue talking to you all. Um, when was the last time we talked? Well, again, I do talk to you all every day on my uh my Facebook page on my Facebook blog like um I have like a page where I like blog uh so make sure you are following my page listen I need to make me a drink okay just hold on all right sister Patterson talk to these souls I need another drink bitch Earl I'm feeling better hold on let me you know, you know hold on Sister Patterson ask them how they doing girl say how you doing girl Give a little walker walker. All right, all right, hold on. I don't want to get too drunk, you know. But why not? There we go. There we go. Hold on. Let me have a little sip. All right, so like I said, I post every single day. I might post two times, I might post 10 times. It depends on my mood. So if you don't see me on YouTube, go to the Facebook page. Uh, Bimbo, it's Bimbo Winehouse something, Walker Walker. I'm going to be homeless. That's why I think I'm really stressing. I got about three weeks, y'all. I'm going to be homeless. A bitch ain't going to have a place to stay. I think that's why I'm really stressed out. They said when you like stress, your fucking neck and your body changes because you stress. Should, 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 your body get fucked up. My sleeping been off. I just been real... Look, I'm going to talk about it on the Patreon. What the fuck is going on? Um, Look, for, look in the comments. I'm going to have the Patreon link. I'm going to go in there and, you know, talk some shit about what the fuck is going on. Yeah, walk a walk a. That's what somebody said. They said, bitch, you, you just stressed. That's all that is. That's why your neck all fucked up. Listen. I was outside today. And I was sitting, I was sitting outside. A... And this dude, I don't know if he was trying to talk to me or try to holler at me, but people say I have this look about me that, you know, I, I, I give off, like, leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to talk to you, which I do, but what the fuck? I'm supposed to walk around smiling. Hey, hi, how you doing? Hey, I'm not that gay. I'm not that person. If you are, like, intimidated by my look, or the way I'm sitting, or I, I'm dressed, bitch, then just don't talk to me. So it was like six different bitches, and I was on the last one. And he sat right next, when he could have sat in any one, he sits at the one next to me. And I felt him looking, and he started pulling out the drugs. You know, that's all you gays do with the drugs. I don't know if it was weed, whatever, but he was smoking. I was like, I'm time for these drugs. Anyway. I say that, I told you all, I just have no interest in men anymore. I don't. Like, I don't have, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm getting older. Men just don't do it for me. And not as D, okay? Because, you know, that's different. But as Bimbo, I just... I, I I just have no issues to admit. I don't give. I don't care how good you look. I, I I'm just whatever. I, I like what would turn me on is if I'm walking down a block and you're sitting in your car jerking off. I might that might turn me on. Oh, that that's it. Like or you know something like that. But as far as what happened today, I'm just not turned on by men no more. I don't know. I I don't know what's going on. And I kind of see how some of you women, when you get older, you just are turned off by men. And I get it. 
you know. So I, I like I I just don't know what it is. These these want to be dogs and they big old bottoms trying to you know front like they just get get out of here get out of here. I like, just go go. Anyway. Like I said, I'm only interested in men when I'm in drag, when I'm D. That's the only time I, you know, I'm, I want to do is when I'm dressed up. When I'm regular bimbo, leave me alone. I think I said this on the last shows. You know, I'm getting old, so my mom, my, you know, my memory is like going away. But I, I, I see why men only want to mess with trannies or transsexuals or drag queens or cross dresses, why that's their only preference. I get it. I totally get it now. I can only mess with a man is when I'm dressed up. Now don't get me wrong, if a little cute dude wanna come holler at me, he wanna, you know, do some things and I'm bimbo, you know, whatever, but <sighs> move it on. Moving on big, hold on, hold on, let me finish my drag. So I told you hoes, I only, I, I post daily on my Facebook and IG, mostly on the Facebook, Instagram is like, you know, I am, but mostly on the Facebook. And you always be cursing me out. You do. I post something with my opinion. And then these folks get upset. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. It's my, this is what makes us all different. We all have different opinions. And like I said, I said what I said. I feel like Ashanti, Sister Patterson. I feel like Ashanti, bitch, you are doing too much. Like a lot of you hoes be out there doing. You be doing too much for these old tired ass men. Just to say you got a man, just to broadcast, I have a husband. Or you you bitches be doing too much for these stupid ass men. It couldn't be me. And little do you know what, Shanti? This is what ran that nigga off the last time. You being all extra. This is what probably turned Nelly off the last time. Look at look at this old thirsty bitch. What the fuck you out here buying a man a car for? You buying your boyfriend uh, your boyfriend? You ain't even got no motherfucking ring on your finger. You buying your boy. Bitch, is you crazy? I love. Hold on. Because with his, his was going to happen, Ashanti. You done bought this man, Nelly, a car. And all he's going to do is let another bitch suck his dick in the car that you just went and bought, you retarded hoe. Ashanti don't like me. I don't know why Ashanti don't like me. I remember it was in uh, Ashanti and Keisha Cole had their verses, but somebody called COVID. Oh, it was Ashanti here. Ashanti, she didn't call COVID, so the motherfucking shit had to be postponed. And I already had knew that she had called COVID. Some, someone uh, emailed me and said, it's not happening, bimbo. And I put it out there and I was like, whatever the fuck. Anyway, Ashanti got on her live and, you know, she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And the bitch started coughing. <coughs> and I I was starting, you know, writing some things. And she was like reading the comments. I knew she read my comments. She saw Bimbo Winehouse. She said, she looked at her, oh, all right, it's time to go. I knew that was because of me because everyone was saying, Oh, get better. Oh, we love you, Ashanti. And here come Bimbo. Girl, you gonna make me sick all that goddamn coffee. <laughs> anyway, all I'm saying is Ashanti. Um, all them years you spent getting that body right. And I ain't gonna lie, her body looks nice. Ashanti body looks real nice. Um, you do all that. I don't know. Did, she, did Shanti have work? Or oh, she just worked out. I don't know. Whatever the fuck. Whatever you did. Whatever. Get the number. You did all that to get your body right. Just to go back to the old dick. 
Bitch, ain't no way in hell I'ma get this body right. Ass right, titties right, hair right, nails done, I'm fancy, huh? Just to go back to the old dick. Bitch, please. Let me tell you, let me tell you, you females who are watching me, I think like 80% of my viewers are women. And you probably got boyfriends. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if you got millions. Don't you buy no man no car. I don't care if it's a car for a thousand dollars. You don't buy no man no car. The only present you need to give your man is to suck his dick. That's the only real bitch, please. Your boyfriend. Now, all right, maybe your husband, you know, because when you two get a divorce, you can try to get that motherfucking car back. But this is your boyfriend. Your boyfriend, girl. Don't you buy no man no car, okay? So, so if you're gonna buy him a car, you buy him one of them little tiny cars that he could hold in his hand, and you tell him, Look, if we get married, you might get that for one of our, you know, our anniversary wedding. Is the Shanti a little cuckoo, a little slow? I always said them real pretty girls, they're a little, you know, slow in the head. All right, moving on from this. No, I don't want to move on. Word has it, Nelly, listen, this is what he's working on. No, he's not working on. Putting a ring on that bitch. Nelly is working on putting a bun in that oven. So they're gonna, they're gonna skip the marriage. All he is worrying about is a night of pleasure, busting a nut up in you, and making you his third, not first, not one, not his three. Tree mine, as a Jamaican say, tree mine. His third baby mama. That's his goal. No, he ain't saying about, oh, I'm trying to make her my wifey. I want to make her my third, maybe, third baby mama. That is the goal. Moving on. What did you hoes do on, on Halloween? Did you go trick? Did you eat all your kids' candy? Like I post on my Facebook. Did you big backs eat all the Reese buttercups? That was for your children, bitch. Did you eat up all the M Ms and peanuts? That was for the kitties, bitch. This is why your back is big. Leave can that candy alone. Anyway, what did I do on Halloween? Well, I did a Halloween show. You all know I was Miss Kitty. That was the whites, Howard, homie, lover, friend homie love a friend and I'm so mad because I really couldn't show her picture when I edited the show I don't know what I did but you can go find Miss Kitty honey well bitch I was Miss Kitty so you can kind of see what she looked like um you know who else was Miss Kitty Claudia Jordan from Fox Soul I thought I was the only Miss Kitty no hey hey Claudia you have another message leave me alone um, I tell you, this always happens when I'm not recording my show and I'm laying on my bed, bored, no messages. As soon as I record the show, here come all of it. You kick eat. Um, so Miss Claudia Jordan was Miss Kitty. I don't watch her on Fox, so I don't watch Fox, so I think the show is very boring, bitch. Put the Wonka Wonka on a Fox, so okay, Earl. Uh, listen, I don't remember too much from Halloween, you all. Yes, I would love to do the Fox Soul. Can anyone reach out to them? I would like one hour each week. I can't do, I'm, I can't, I'm not dedicated to five. I honestly commend Funky Doniva and, 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 and Al. and They got to do that show five nights a week. I couldn't do it. I mean, if I, I mean, I could, I can probably do, no, no, I couldn't commit myself. Well, I would have to see what the pay, I, I don't know, but I can do once a week. If anyone knows Claudia Jordan or whoever, tell them Bimbo Winehouse can do Fox Soul one day a week, please. Um, yeah, but anyway, I don't remember too much from Halloween and I want the setup to be just like this. I don't want nothing to change. I just want to do a lot for my, I don't need no extra shit. Okay, these folks be out here doing all this extra shit with their shows when all that don't matter. All you need is a phone, a voice, and a 
personality, all that extra shit they be having, and it's still corny. All right. I don't remember shit from Halloween, y'all. I remember I went to the city, um, and um, I wore these big eyelashes. Like, I wanted to try something different. Dump my lashes was like really extreme. I don't know what I was thinking. Everybody was just looking at me. I was just happy it was uh, Halloween. I was like, never again. Um, I don't remember. Like I said, I don't remember. I know I left early because I was over it because I hate Halloween. This is when all the gay men now want to become trannies. No, you hoes can back it up. This is what you always wanted to be. So I just wanted to get back in the house. But I do remember last week. It was a really nice night and I went to the city and I met this guy in the city, but he was from Brownsville, Brooklyn. And I was standing on my, I was standing near the train, right? And I was like just standing there drinking, whatever, because I was ready to like come back home. Wow, not a home. It's not going to be in the next two weeks, but whatever. Um, so he walked past me and I looked at him. He looked at me. Oh, I guess he didn't want me. Whatever. On to the next. And he came back. He was like, what's up? I was like, hi. And I'm real like cautious of like them hood dudes because they be broke. And whatever to make long story short. We went behind this dumpster. Yes. You know, I love me a nice behind the dumpster sex. That'd be the best sex. Behind, oh, trash can, dumpster. Oh, big. We went behind, whatever. And we had some really good sex, you all. Very good sex. Walk along. Well, D, not bimbo, D. And he, he went at my number. I'm just like, no, no. If it's meant to be, I'll see you again. I'm like, this is my spot over here. So if I'm out here, I'm out here. If I'm not, oh, good radiance. But I should have took his number because it's another dude I met like a couple of months ago. And he's like, all right, I don't want to talk about that. So after I left, after he walked away, I said, hey, bye, walk, go. So he walked. And as I'm, you know, I'm, you know, wiping and fixing myself up and I'm walking. Another dude like comes up to me. And at this point, if you really watch me, I mean, boy, I tell you all, all I need is one person and my confidence just goes up and I'm like very vibrant. So um, he comes up to me. He's like, what's up? I was like, nah, man, I just got pounded out. And he's like, oh, really? You want to get pounded out again? And he was like, really cute. cute. But at this point, I really wanted to go home. And my train was like 20 minutes away. And it takes me 20 minutes to get to the train. And I, if it was the summertime... I probably would have stayed, but I really want to get home. And I said, like, I'll see. He was really cute. But I really want to come home. Like, I wanted to take the good train. The train that's like, gets me home in like 20 minutes. Not the two train. The two train takes almost two hours to get me home. So, bye, baby. Sister Patterson, entertain the meatballs, bitch. You know, I gotta make it of a drink, ow. Like 
being drunk. Like, I'm nice, but I don't like being drunk. So give me one moment. I hope I don't have lung cancer. They said with lung cancer, it feels like something is stuck in your throat. And they said when you deep throat, it gives you, oh, I hope I don't have lung cancer. I mean, look, but if it's your time, it's your time. I just want to like go peacefully in my sleep. You know, people who find out they got cancer, it kills them before the cancer kills them because they stressed out. I just want to be sleeping and oh, and I don't want to know nothing. They know to cremate me. All right, moving on. Speaking of Brownsville, Brooklyn. Shout out to Wendy Williams, ex-husband, Kevin Hunter. How you, how you paying? Not how you doing. Well, how you doing, Kevin? But how you paying? I was reading on the jasminebrand.com that Wendy Williams' ex-husband, honey, he's been ordered by the courts. He has to pay 20 G's. 20 of them things, baby. 20 G's. Um, um, um. Um, after he ignored a lawsuit from some bank company. I don't know who this bank was, but they gave him a credit card and I guess, you know, he ran it up because the people saying he was supposed to live off Wendy's al alimony. He thought, you know, she's going to keep that show and he was going to get this little money every month. Like, that's, I really thought that's what he thought was going to happen. Wendy is a cancer, honey. She's a, the, the cancer woman. Don't mess with them cancer women, honey. She always says she has out a plan. You all think when the show was canceled, no, honey. Mama said, I need to get Kevin out my pockets. So in this little talk show, bitch, I'm over it anyway. It's tired. So now Kevin has to find 20, I, I, I don't even know if he got 20,000. He didn't show up in the courtroom. So when you don't show up in the courts, you more than likely loses the case. So the judge probably was a Wendy Williams fan and said, look here, nigga, you are ordered. So listen, if he doesn't pay this money, will he go to prison? Oh, will he go to jail? Could he do some jail? To oh. Kevin, you really fumbled that bag, honey. You fumbled that motherfucking bag. Wendy allowed this man to have his little holes on the side. Just keep up this image. This is all I ask, Kevin. We got to keep up this family image. Me, you, and the son. Happy family. I don't give a fuck about them holes on the side. All I ask for you is not to have a baby by this bitch. Just don't have no baby, Kevin. I just, just don't want no baby. What do Big Kevin do? Go and have a baby. Wendy Williams said, I'm done. Kevin, you fumbled that bag. Like, this nigga had an easy job. All he had to do was give Wendy the ding -a -ling. He can show up to that sh like, 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 you all know cancer women, they love hard. And you let all this go for Sharina. Oh, you crazy motherfucker. Years ago, this 20 G's would have been nothing. Years Anyway, moving on. See, I'm feeling drunk. 
All right, I'm not feeling drunk, but I'm feeling drunk, but I'm not feeling drunk. But all right, hold on. And y'all got a pee pee, but I'm not gonna pee till after the show is over. So listen to me. So because Sydney Starr, who is a transgender, I met Sydney a couple of years ago in the club. We hugged, we kissed. I don't remember too much more. But because Sydney is cool with T.S. Madison, well, was cool, because I don't know if you're in a relationship now. T.S. Madison told about she want to lay hands on Sydney Starr. Um, so because she and T.S. Madison is cool, she can't sit down with Tasha K. Because you all know Tasha K and T.S. Madison is beefing. They is beefing, honey. Um, here's my thing. If I'm friends with two people and these two people don't get along, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Because you two, like, I, like, like that, ain't got, that ain't got nothing. I like both of y'all. Both of y'all are my friends. Now, what, what what I will not happen is if I'm with this person and you want to start talking about that other person, I'm going to shut you down. Don't, this, no, this is really me in real life. If I'm friends with two people and they don't get along and I'm chilling with either person and they want to start bringing up shit that don't do. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't know. Leave me out of it. I'm chilling with you. This is our time. That little situation you got going on with that person, you deal with on your... I don't want to hear nothing. I, I don't care. Because that person is not here to defend themselves. So don't... Like, I, that's really me. Like, I, I told you, I don't like all that drama shit. You all may think I like all that crazy... In real life, I don't like... I like to have a good time when I'm with people. I don't like no mean... People around me, I like to have a good time. I'm not here for this drama shit. So if I'm cool with you and, and I'm cool with someone you ain't cool with, don't bring that. So my thing is, why can't Sydney Star sit down with Tasha K? But with I didn't like Sydney, and I've always said this, like you are a pretty girl. But I, I said this about pretty girls. A lot of these chicks be cute, but they're they're less than smart. Then you know, you know, and Sydney kind of gives me that. Like she's not, you know, she does she doesn't have it all there. But she's real pretty, a real pretty transgender. Probably get all the dudes, but you know, they not, you know, yeah. um, you all bringing up T. S. Madison to bring attention to that interview, and T. S. Madison. You falling for that bait. Real sloppy. Real, I mean, it worked, you know, but real sloppy. Like, you always fall for the bait, T.S. Madison. And this is what... Like, to me, T.S. Madison is the Beyonce of the trans trannies. Like, all the transgenders and all that. To me, uh, T.S. Madison is the Beyonce. Like, she's that girl. But... What you have to stop doing, T.S. Madison, when every 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 time someone say negative things about you or, or say mean things or hurtful things about you, you have to stop responding. Like, girl, Beyonce would never respond to all this hate. Like, you are that girl, but you bring it. I know, oh, I, what do you, I'm from Florida. I, 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 fuck all that. If you are that girl like you claim, you should not respond to these to these nobodies. Bitch, please. Me being the Beyonce of the trans girls, I, bitch, please. I'm not responding to none of you hoes. You bitches look up to me. So it kind of brings down your brand when you constantly get on your platform and respond to these people. Fuck what they got to say, my nigga. You doing your thing. Like, people always going to say mean things and we're going to respond to every person that has something mean to say about you. It's not that serious. But again, I think it was very um, unclassy of you, Sydney, to even 
called T.S. Madison or whatever you did. But again, I, I know, you know, you're less than smart sometimes. <laughs> um, but I will say this about you, Tasha K. You're trying to have a, 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 a sit down with T.S. Madison or you're trying to like, you know, have some type of olive branch. I don't think that's going to happen. Like, I think you overdid it. Like, T.S. Madison will probably uh, 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 have, uh, speak to Kaya, Kaya before she ever speak with you. Because with her and Kaya, they kept their beef just, just with words, you know? Just with words. Yes, she talked about T.S. Madison's mother, you know, Miss Mary, but that was just with words, you know? When you went on your Instagram and you post T.S. Madison's passport, to me, that, that was the ultimate disrespect. Now, that, that was messy. Regardless of whatever, the fact that you went on here and post Madison's passport for all these scammers and all it so white it didn't have an address. You don't know what folks can do with people numbers. That that was just I even I looked at you like come on, come on, come on, Tasha K. Come on, come on, come on. Like her and Kyer's situation was just verbal. Like it was just, you know, going back and forth. Kaya is saying some things about her. T.S. Madison saying this thing. That was just all, you know, words. And you all, oh, she's talking about her kids. Oh, well, she talked about my mother. When you talk about my mother, it's fuck you and fuck your kids. So I, all that's words. All that shit don't mat matter to me. When you post, like I said, when you post that passport, I would be done. You, you put my personal shit out there. So. I don't know. I don't know. Why did I bring that up for? I don't know why I brought up uh, Kaya and them. Or T.S. I don't know. All I know. All I know is. We will see a Kaya and T.S. Madison reunite before we ever see T.S. Madison and Tasha K. Now listen here, Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige, I love you, bitch. I love you all. No, Mary J. When I go, you must listen to two, two Mary J. Blige songs in memory of the wine house. But Mary, bitch, nobody want no radio show from you. So nobody want no radio show Mary J. Blige has a radio show coming. I don't know who asked for this. Mary J. Blige, you keep getting it messed up. The people don't want no damn radio show from you. What these people want, I've been seeing for years. The people want a boot line. Latanya Blige, somebody in Mary's camp. Tell Mary, these people, you messing up your bag, Mary. You messing up, you know you Capricorns love your money. This is what the folks, they want a boot. If it's just one boot, they just want to wear the Murray J. Blige boots. That's been your signal. You cannot walk in no motherfucking hills. I posted a video of Mary J. Blige on my Facebook page. And I didn't know. People said Mary could never walk in hills. But she could walk in the boots. When well, she got them, them knee-high boots on. So Mary J. Blige... Let that damn radio show go because you have no personality. You get upset as soon as someone say hello, Mary. You ready to fight. So I don't know how you, you know this. You know the show gonna be boring. Boring ass Mary J. Blair might get a motherfucking radio show. So Mary, get your boot line. Moving on to Sherry Shepard. I don't know what I wanted to say about Sherry Shepard. I've, I, I forgot, but. I put Lauren Hill next to her name. So I don't know if it's because Sherry Shepard, she read Lauren, that though tired ass Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill talking about you hoes better be lucky that I get on stage every night. 
You talking about you complaining about me being late. Lauren Hill, let me tell you something, bitch. You need you a stiff dick. Somebody go fuck some sister to Lauren Hill. Bitch, you got some motherfucking nerve being mad at folks for being mad at you for you being late. How the fuck you gonna be mad at me? The show say Lauren Hill gonna be on stage at 8 o'clock. Okay. I have patience. I'll give you an hour. 9 o'clock, whatever you got. Fix your wig. Fix your voice. Whatever the fuck you gotta do, bitch. You don't come on this stage at 1 o'clock in the morning and you don't think we gonna be upset with you, you old tired hoe. Then the bitch go talking about no one wanted to work with me after my last album, Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Bitch, I wonder why. I wonder why, Lauren Hill. Ain't no... You cannot pay me to go to a Lauren Hill. This bitch got a nerve to have a motherfucking attitude over her shit. Bitch, you the tired late hoe. You came late. And I, you can't blame it on your makeup and your outfits because you come out looking a hot mess. So what's going on, bitch? But I would not discredit Lauren Hill because she gave us a good that miseducation of Lauren Hill. But bitch, you need to fix your time, bitch. Fix your motherfucking time. Be happy that these people is still wasting their hard-working money to come out and watch out. Performance from 19... See some hair songs from 1998. And that's one thing I must say about Tyler Perry. When he do his little Madeira plays, when Tyler Perry tell you his show start at 8 o'clock p.m., you better be seated in your seat by 7.59 because at 8 p.m., that curtain is coming up and you're going to see some black woman singing. Okay, so Lauren Hill, you need to get it together, bitch. Moving on. I got my ass eat the other night. Yes, I did. I got my, I got my baby. And it was shock. Because I've I, I been with this dude a couple of times. And I think he a cop. Since past, I think he a cop, girl. He a cop. And um, he ate my booty. He ain't, We met about 10 times. And he ain't never eat my butt. And it was a shocker. And I, I... And he's not that attractive, you all. But I have a connection with him. Because what I like about him... I like this stupid dude who I was supposed to meet last night who's just stupid. He better not text me again because I'm going to ignore all his messages. He's like... like Anyway, the dude... He say, hey... What, are you up? And I go, yes. He said, I'll be over. Less than 20 minutes, he'll be over. And it's just, it, it just goes so smooth. And he's not that attractive. You know, he's a little, he's on the big side. And I have to have a couple of drinks. And I have to hold my nose. But I just like, he, he's just on his word. You know, he doesn't say, I'm on my way, and then I don't hear from him. Like this idiot last night. But I say all that to say, he ate this ass so good, baby. Listen, I got some more stories, bitch. But I got to go. Um, Listen, my OnlyFans, I'm putting, I'm putting my OnlyFans up. I gotta put my OnlyFans back up, bitch. All right, I'll tell you all about that on the next show. But look in the comments; I'll probably post something. But my OnlyFans is gonna be back up, and then the Patreon. I got I gotta tell you all the story on there. So look out for the people on the Patreon, and um, I'll see you all on the next show. Um, Waka Waka, and bye bye.